Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with Thor's Lightning Takes. And let's get right to the news. Alright, we got a couple pieces of news we're going to talk about today. There's some Acolyte and then there's some Daisy Ridley. Let's just start with the Acolyte because... Let's get it out of the way. It, it's like yeah. ripping a band-aid off, having to do it again. Well, now Carrie Ann Moss has been asked about the thoughts on the series cancellation. She, of course, played Jedi Master Indara. Yeah, who died and wouldn't have been in a season two anyway. What? What? We don't know Other that. They flashbacks did flashbacks. Or, yeah. and they, that's, Coming back that's from the dead. No Ra- one's Rashomon. ever really gone. Ra- Rashomon. <laughs> yes. No one's yeah. ever really gone. She might have survived in the little knife to the chest. Yeah. I mean, it was canceled, I mean, what, barely a month after it came out? They're like, yeah, yeah no season two. Sorry, guys. I know that there's a book coming out for it that's supposed to have Indar in it. Okay. As so well it's a prequel as... book? Well, I mean, it should be, right? Yeah. As well as Vanessa Rowe. Oh, those two are like buddies. Uh, I didn't say that, I'm just saying. I'm just assuming. You know, Jedi are <laughs> friends. Well, Carrie Ann Moss was definitely less sentimental with what she had to say about the Acolyte's cancellation, saying, like, she'd already moved on before the second season was scrapped. Me too. Yeah, she's not really hugely affected. I know there's a lot of actors who are, and petitions still circulating, I'm sure. I wonder what it's up to. Uh, I don't feel like looking. You can maybe... I might uh, look. This interview was coming to us from comicbook.com. Moss dated, you know, her character died. So she kind of already had made peace with the prospect of leaving the Acolyte. She literally said, I mean, I died. So I was like, I love everybody, but I didn't read about it. I heard it from, like, a dad at school, and I was already working on something else. So it's sort of like, oh, okay, it was already over for me. Like, she don't care. <laughs> I mean, no. flat out, she don't She didn't don't even, like, care. find out the news, like, by reading about it or anything. Some guy, or some dad at the school was like, yeah. hey, show was canceled. She's like, well, I'm already working on another show. So. Yeah, that wasn't, like, my show. I just kind of mm, got yeah. paid a lot of money to be in it for two or three episodes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, all the trailers had her big fight in it. Like, they were really trying to hype up, look, it's Carrie Ann Moss. And yeah, they're she's like, oh, look, star. she's dead. Yeah, she's going to die. Nice way to treat one of the big lures to your show. Well, like I said, they probably paid her a lot of money just so they could put her in the advertising. Mm-hmm. And you got, oh, it's Trinity, and she's doing yeah. cool fight scenes. Well, weren't like, they trying to get Keanu Reeves to go into this or something, too? Or was she, that... Yeah, there was some kind of weird talk about wanting him in this. Like, yeah. And everybody wants him to play Revan. Like, he's yeah. getting, I love Keanu Reeves. Everybody does. But like, he's, getting a little, Revan, so. he's getting a little old for Revan, too. For being well, he's playing past his prime, Revan. <laughs> he's Revan, playing John Wick Revan, Revan is always in his prime. Revan what Wick. are you talking about? Yeah. Revan Wick. <laughs> I would go see that film well carrie and moss kind of attributed her lukewarm reaction because there's so many canceled projects in today's entertainment industry like netflix is a graveyard of shows with only one season yeah it is yeah but nobody cares because nobody cared in the first place to even make note that they were getting canceled yeah i mean so is it really that surprising that disney is now doing the same with here's one season here's one season it's like throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing if it's gonna stick well, it's Star Wars, though. Everybody, like, assumes Star Wars is going to be successful because mm-hmm. of the name and because everybody loves Star Wars. But that I think that was Disney's problem. They yeah. didn't realize, like, oh, fans have standards for this stuff. They're supposed to just mm. like whatever we put out there. Hey, it's Star Wars. They know what percentage of the fans don't have standards. They signed a petition. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Sick burn. Oh, I don't Sorry, know if we're going to leave just... that one in. That's too harsh. <laughs> There are fans of the Acolyte who watch no, this, I'm it sure. it was just a joke. I know it Because was. it was just out there in the open, easy target. I don't know. Well, she says, when being an actor, you're in shows all the time that are canceled, and it's in the beginning. And in the beginning, it's kind of a bummer. And then you just learn not to really be invested. You can't be. It's a protection mechanism. She sounds cold detached from did she ever escape the matrix is she one of the machines that's where i was going like i think she's uh, one of them she's beginning not to believe well it's it's kind of sad when the actors look at it that way because the fact that they're not really invested is rough because we want them as fans we want them to be really invested in every single project they do to be like well i'm worried this is going to be a one show one season or one time gig i don't care yeah, I mean, I, I get what she's saying. You don't want yeah. to get attached. And then they're like, well, we're not making a second season. And you were like, this is my thing. I was all in it. And I was excited. And like, yeah. no. Nope. I mean, I get it. And at the same time, I agree with you entirely. You want actors and actresses who are, like, excited or fans to some degree. But then it has to hurt when yeah. the project is canceled. Yeah, I mean, you look at Diego Luna. I mean, huge fan of Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Huge well, fan. Yeah. 
Well, his project wasn't canceled. He just, no. they made, like, the choice to cut it down to two seasons. Yeah. I regret that choice. I know, but now I'm wondering <laughs> oh. if five seasons would have been too long. I think it would have been too long. I, I think three would have been, you know, without seeing season two and just, <laughs> I guess I just sound greedy. Like, I just want more. Well, I'm worried about season two because of the fact that, you know, they're taking, what, four or five years and condensing them. Yeah. So that makes it rough. I'm hoping Disney doesn't try to do something clever like, hey, we're going to release them in like three episode bursts so that that whole year is covered before next week. Because nah, that's going to be hard for watching. They want to stretch it out. They want they want to keep you subscribed. We talk about it all the time. Like the reason why these shows aren't Netflix styled as mm, in dropped all at that. once is because they have to keep you subscribed with a couple shows whereas mm. Netflix just has Well, Netflix has gotten so a much. little wiser. They have. They, yeah. They've been breaking up the drops now. I like, think, I think even better. Arcane isn't dropping all at once. I think it's it's moving the couple episodes. I, I like that because so many people just go and watch the whole thing in like a day and then and you turn they're on online and, and it's like, come on. And you just spoiled the ending for me. Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't have eight hours to watch this today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't take off from work? Dropped, what yeah. the heck? You're not a real fan. <sighs> all right. Another thing I wanted to cover is Daisy Ridley did a and a with Collider. They kind of asked for an update on how things are going with the new Jedi Order movie, which is what we all call it. I call it the Rey movie. Well, other people call it the new Jedi Order movie. She says, things are evolving. I continue to be very excited. There will be an update soon. How Mm. soon is soon? Um, Is soon celebration? celebration? Because that's not that soon. It's a half a year. That's a, that's a um, ways. I think this is a really bad sign because, like, we had uh, we've heard through the grapevine and rumors mm-hmm. and all that that this was supposed to be like filming now. Yeah, really soon. Yeah, and we've heard other things now that like there's still there may no not be the script. script finished, yeah. And yeah, it, it sounds like it's just one of the like. And Star Wars is infamous for this at this point, right? Just projects never yeah, come into gotta, fruition. You gotta stop it. Just like Marvel, where's Blade? They just uh, axed it from next year's uh, they schedule. They just keep pushing it back, pushing it back. Yeah, that's like the, but into Marvel oblivion. Marvel's had a few, don't get me wrong, but like Star Wars, like every third or fourth project actually gets made it feels like. But sometimes know. it builds Probably anticipation though when they keep delaying and moving it back. No, I mean, it just frustrates look you. Look at Craven. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Craven the Hunter was supposed to be out like last year. Yeah. I'm so excited. December. Yeah. So it sounds like we will be getting an update soon. Or so she says. Maybe she's been told that she's getting an update soon. Perhaps. She's probably just in the dark. She probably has no clue what's going on. Well, she's just saying a very blank statement. Things are evolving. That could mean anything. Could mean anything. I continue to be very excited. That means she's excited, yeah. There will be an update soon. That's the only sentence that really anyone cares about. There will be an update soon. Meaning Celebration will have to tell us something, right? It would be... (laughs) Look, if Celebration comes around, and mind you, this got announced at the previous Celebration, which will be two years after, if next Celebration comes around in six months and this movie doesn't get mentioned, you can pretty much bet your bottom dollar it's uh, scrapped. No. I mean, how would you go two years? How would you make an announcement two years ago, have another Celebration in two years, say nothing about it, and expect that it's ever going to be made. I mean, it'd be one thing if they're, yeah, five years from now we're going to do a new movie, but... Maybe the Taika Waititi movie will be next instead. Oh, you know, that God, one. That one's good. They're, it, it's so sad what about that they the just Ryan can't... Johnson trilogy or whatever? <sighs> it was a trilogy, yeah. Yeah. It, it's kind of sad that they just can't get these movies. I mean, Rogue Squadron. Hey, she still wants to They did to a little teaser. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. It's still, I guess, not entirely dead, but she did a little, like, teaser trailer thing when they announced it, you know, with the fighter jets and her father and all this, and supposed to come out last december hmm. mando and grogu probably they're filming it we've seen it so yeah, i mean pieces of it or trailer, a trailer yeah. thing that looked pretty decent yeah that looked good i mean we had to watch a pirated version so the quality wasn't great but it looked good yeah i would expect a, a trailer at celebration mm-hmm. because then it'll be a year out and that's when you really start for a movie like that you, big Star start, Wars movie, yeah. you start that hype train early Choo-choo. yeah all right. Well, I think that's going to be all we got for you this time. Now it's your turn. Take to the comments below. Tell us what you think of any and all of today's news. And let's talk some Star Wars. And so until next time, thanks for watching.